if I could be of help in any way. I always like to come and spend my time with you. We somehow seem to think of something great to do. You really are the most. I think that I can boast. You really are the most surprising Grand. There was always something for Grand to grumble about. Today, it was the birds. They were pecking away at her vegetables. Shoo! Shoo! Pesky birds! Them's my greens! Shh! Gran! Don't scare them all off! There's a woodpecker up there! You don't often see them! Look! He's a pretty bird, isn't it? But why are you covered in leaves, Jim? So the birds will think I'm a tree and I can get close to them without scaring them off. Don't need them now. Come on, Gran, let's go for a walk and see how many birds we can spot. <coughs> Hear that? It's coming from over there, Gran. It must be the call of a very rare bird. Let's get closer. <laughs> we must have scared it off, Jim. No, there it is again. We're getting warmer, Gran. Let's keep very quiet and still, and maybe we'll see it. Gran and Jim stayed for hours waiting to see the rare bird. Pesky flies. Go on. Shh. Uh, oh, sorry, Jim. Darkness came. They saw lots of owls, but not the bird they were looking for. The full moon was up as they walked back home. morning, Jim was up at sunrise hoping to catch sight of the rare bird. What's that? I don't believe it! It's Gran dressed up as a tree to go bird watching. She's a rare old bird, my Gran. And one rare bird deserves another. Now let me see. Gran had seen all sorts of birds, but what she wanted to see was the rare bird. <coughs> What's that? <coughs> it's the rare bird. It doesn't seem a bit shy. Oh, it's coming closer. Oh, wait till I tell Jim about this. I wonder if it's going to give its special call again. Gran! 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 Whatever sort of a bird is that? It's a gym bird, Gran! That fooled you, didn't it? Haven't I got the most surprising grandson? Hey, look, Gran! The rare bird!
don't know. It's got to be here somewhere. Distinctly says here, Uncle Henry's mansion. Can't be far away. We'll have a look down the road. Come on. Paul! Paul! Here, yeah, this is no time to be practising your cricket. I'm not. Oh, look! We've arrived. Told you it couldn't be far away. Open the gates. Hi. Give it a hard push. Right. Now look what you've done. It's come off. I can see it's come off. Put it back up. Can you give us a hand? <coughs> right. Yeah, hold that a minute. Now, get hold that end. Right. Can you hold that a minute? Yes, sir. Ready? On yeah. three. One, two, three. Oh! It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Okay, I'm push, push, right. Push, oh. push. Oh. It's dead. That's it, that's oh. it. That's brilliant. Now all we need to do is to get it back on the hinges. Right oh. Just give it a little lift from the bottom. Right oh. And then it'll be back on. Right oh. Why do you keep saying right oh? It's on me right oh. Oh, sorry, get oh. it off. Get oh. it off. Right. Oh, look. Left the cases out there. I'll go and get it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that nearly hit me then. Get it back on. Hey, to me, to you, to me. To you. Right. All the way up. To me, to me, to me. To you. To you. Oh, that's it. Is it? Come on, come on. That's got it. Right, right. I'll get the cases. Oh, 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 oh. To me, to me, to me, to me, to me. To me, to me, steady. Okay. Right, hold it there. Hold it. Oh, 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 oh. To you, to you then. Right, to you. Oh. You got it. Oh. You got it. There, right, hold that. Oh, oh, oh. oh. To me, to oh. me, to me, to me. To me, to me, steady. Okay. Right, hold it there. Hold it. Oh, 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 oh. To you, to you, to you. That's it. That's it. Now just hold it there. I'll get the case. Oh, oh, oh. Barry? Barry? Where's he gone? Barry! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! Yeah, I'll get them off. Oh. Yeah, I'll give you out. Hey, Paul. Give me a pull. I think it's going to be another one of those days. Job ever. All we've got to do is look after Uncle Henry's mansion while he's away for the weekend. Great. Where's he gone? On tour with Rotherham United. Has he? Yes, that's very nice. It is very nice. Now, have you got the key? Because Uncle Henry is very security conscious. Right. Paul. What? I've forgotten the key. Oh, no. Oh, no. Never mind. There'll be one under the mat. There you are. Yeah. <laughs> right, come on. <laughs> Hey, it's very nice, isn't it? It is very nice. Let's have a look round. OK. Look out for those, will you? Hey, don't do that. Hey, Paul. What? Who's it? Oh, that's one of our ancestors. Great, great grandfather chuckle. Hmm. Paul, who's this? They're his forefathers. Forefathers? As you can see, Uncle Henry is a true arbiter of good taste. Not only is everything exquisite in itself, but the layout is a connoisseur's cornucopia. Picture. Ornament? Statue? Yes, that's me. I'm still here. This is Atlas, you know. A man with his future well mapped out. He carries the weight of the whole world on his shoulders. What he needs is a rucksack. Oh, and if I'm not mistaken, that's a genuine Rembrandt steam train. Very nice. Oh! 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 What are you doing now? 
I was just looking at it. Looking? You're supposed to look with your eyes, not with your hands. Oh. You're not fit to be let out of the house. Oh. Now, give it to you. It's solid gold, that is. It's very heavy. I know it's very heavy. Give it to me. I'll put it back on the statue. Nah, you've done enough damage already. Give it to me. It's very heavy. I know it's very heavy. Give it. Oh! I told you. I'll tell you what, it's very heavy. I'll go get it. Nah! No need to rush. You can't get out of the house, can it? The front door's locked. The only way out is through the cellars. You have to go right through the stairs for that. Oh. I knew I'd save the day. With my infinite knowledge of gravitational physics, I knew the globe had get stuck in the gates. That's why I left them there, for such an eventuality. Paul, my foot's stuck in the gate. Oh, dear. Oh. 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 There you are. Good. I thought we were going to need a hacksaw. Don't be silly. It's a perfectly good foot. Now, give us the globe. Globe? I haven't got the globe. Of course you have. You remember? The globe got stuck in the gates. We came up. I picked it up. You got your foot stuck. I threw the globe over there. You went... The globe! <laughs> hey, Paul. A hedgehog. I could keep him as a pet. Turn him to fetch sticks and bite the postman. Don't be silly. We've no time for that now. Come on. Ready? Go fetch. Sorry, come on. Circles. Well, what do you expect? It's a globe. Yeah, come on. Come on. It's no good. We've lost it. Oh. What's Uncle Henry going to say? You'll have to give him a ring and find out. Oh. Mind your feet. Look. Yeah, go in and get it. Right. Hey? On second thoughts, go and get a net. Right. It's one of those days. Go get the net. Oh. Whoa. Here we are. Oh, great. Get down here now. Right. Can't find it. Oh, I've got it. Have you got it? I've got it. Oh, I'll give me a hand. He's stuck. Boom. Boom. Quick. Oh. Oh. On three. Uh, one, two, three. Which way does it go? I don't know. Tell you what, I'll go this way, you go that way. Right. I've got a better idea. I'll have a go on the slide. Seesaw, Marjorie Daw, Johnny shall have a new master. Seesaw! Hurry! Hurry! Back! Oh! Ooh. What are you playing at? Yeah. Oh, the glow! Oh! Oh, no. Yeah. 
You go and get it, okay? Found it! Oh, where is it? I couldn't get it. There's lots of people eating the lunch in there. It looks ever so posh. Well, why don't you just get the globe? You don't understand. It's in the trifle. If you want anything doing right, do it yourself. Come out of the way, I'll get it. Hey. Paul! Paul! I'll see if you get in there, won't you? That's the one. Don't, don't worry about it, I'll find it in here somewhere. It's got to be here somewhere. It's not in that bit. Here, all that. What should I do with it? Don't bother me about that, just get rid of it. I've not got a spare hand. Don't bother me with trifles. It's no good. I can't find it anywhere in here. That's what I've been trying to tell you. What? It's in a trifle in the kitchen. <laughs> it. Good as new. Yes. Uncle Henry will never know the difference. Oh. I'll get it. Ha. Oh, no. What's the matter? That was Uncle Henry. Yes? He only said he forgot to put the statue of Atlas out for the dustman, and he said, would we mind doing it for him? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh. Never mind. Do you fancy some trifle? That'd be very nice. <laughs> Come on. I should have known. Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in your toy land. There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. It was a drowsy evening in Toyland. Noddy and Big Ears were sipping lemonade. Noddy, really? What a strange noise. I'm sorry, Big Ears. I'm sucking the last drops of lemonade from my glass. Now, that is a very strange noise. It's Mr. and Mrs. Tubby Bear. I hope they're not ill. What are you doing? Oh, uh, <clears throat> good evening, Noddy. Uh, my good lady and I are, um, <clears throat> oh. uh, we're, um, uh, waltzing. Waltzing? Is this waltzing a sort of wrestling? Oh, bless you, no, Noddy. <laughs> it's dancing. 
We're practicing. For the Toy Town Dancing Competition. How delightful. Uh, please uh, carry on. Right ho. My dear, after three. With a one, two, three. La 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 I'm getting horribly tangled. My word, dancing does look difficult. Have you heard the news? There's going to be a Toy Town dancing competition. Indeed, Tessie Bear, we have heard the news. Noddy, I should like you to be my partner in the dancing competition. But I can't dance. I've never danced in all my life. Noddy, I shall teach you to dance. Oh, would you, Big Ears? Certainly. <laughs> I was quite an expert in my younger days. I shall be delighted to coach the pair of you, starting tomorrow. Oh, please, Noddy. Oh, all right, Tessie. I'll try. I have to fetch Miss Pink Cat from the station in the morning, but we can start as soon as I've taken her home. Do hurry, Noddy. I wish to be home quickly. I must have my tail fluffed for the dancing competition. I'm entering the competition too, with Tessie Bear. Oh, <laughs> oh la la. Oh, Noddy, you will stand no chance of winning. Not against me and my partner, Mr. Sparks. Stop! Stop! No! Oh, oh, oh. No! Oh, God! See? He is such a fine mover. I hope he doesn't move like that on the dance floor. <laughs> when he dances, Mr. Sparks is a beautiful mover. Yeah. Left and right, and left and right, and oh, very good, Noddy. You see, you are a dancer. Oh, thank you, Big Ears. You're a very good teacher. Keep practicing. Remember, Noddy, practice whenever you have a chance. I say, <laughs> you and Mr. Jumbo dance very well. Well, Mr. Jumbo is a very. Oh, Oh, very lively dancer. Oh, 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 I must practice my dancing. I'll pretend you're Tessie Bear. Yum, dum, 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 ba di da dum, da, yum, dum, 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 ba da da. Oh, be careful, Noddy. That's an antique jug. I'm sorry, Dinah. I'll practice somewhere else. Not a Oh, old, old Mr. Jumbo, kindly put me down. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> so, they're having a dancing competition, are they? Shall we enter? Oh, don't be silly. Goblins don't enter competition slay. We ruin them for everybody else. Oh. <coughs> My lords, ladies, gentlemen, and toys, gather round. It is my pleasure to announce the Toyland Dancing Competition open! <laughs> Will couple number one please take to the floor? Mr. Wobbly Man? This tune starts very quietly, Mr. Wobbly Man. I'm afraid the music isn't playing, Mr. Plog. What? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this record player has nothing inside. Nothing at all. Someone has stolen the workings of the competition record player. <gasps> this means the competition cannot take place. Oh, dear, dear. Mr. Plod, Mr. Plod, Big Ears has a gramophone. I have indeed. Well, it's very old, but perhaps Noddy could take me in his car to fetch it. Whee! Off you go then, as quickly as you can. Meanwhile, perhaps Clockwork Clown will keep us happy with some of his tricks. Oh, certainly. Trust Big Ears to ruin our plans to ruin the competition. What shall we do now, Gobbo? I shall think of something really horrid. Yeah. Drive as quickly as you can, Noddy. Yes, Big Ears. <laughs> oh, my word. Noddy, drive almost as quickly as you can. Keep leaping, Clockwork Clown. 
They can't be long now. <laughs> Here's the gramophone, Mr. Plod. Oh, what a relief. Well done, clockwork clown. Are the judges ready? Yeah, ready now, Mr. Plod. Then take your partners for the Toy Town Dancing Competition. I'm so sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Sly and Gobbo, what are you two goblins doing? We, uh... We'd like to win this beautiful trophy. Well, my lad, if you want to win the trophy, <laughs> you'll have to dance for it. Uh, come on, Sly. Now to our judges. Tell us, who are the champion dancers of Toyland? We should like to award the special prize for the most unusual dance to the goblins Sly and Gobbo. <gasps> but the winners of the Toyland trophy for the finest dancers in the competition are Tessie Bear and Noddy. I like dancing, Tessie. So do I. I could dance all night long. Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in the There's Biggie's and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. And now it's time for Noddy to wave and say goodbye. He's tired and sleepy and nodding his head. He's ready to curl himself up in bed and see what tomorrow brings. For Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. In a wacky way of chalking, Charlie Chalk. Charlie Chalk. Oh, Charlie Chalk. Charlie Chalk. Charlie Chalk. Charlie Chalk. He can get you out of trouble, he can teach you how to juggle. That's Charlie Chalk. Charlie Chalk. Yeah, Charlie Chalk. Charlie Chalk. He rode a boat to sea to do some sleeping and some fishing. When he awoke, he saw an island. Was he breathing or just wishing? Walking in a wacky way of jogging, Charlie Chalk. Charlie Chalk. Oh, Charlie Chalk. Charlie Chalk. Charlie Chalk. Phew. I'm hot and I shall need a rest very soon. Ooh. Oh. 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 Hello, Edward. What? Oh. Hello. Hello, Charlie Chalk. Mind if I join you? It's time for me to have another nap. Be my guest. Walk together now. What 
is that noise? It's only Edward and Charlie snoring, Mildred dear. Now don't change the subject. We are going off for the day and that's final. But Mary, if we have a day away, A, where will we go? B, what will we do? And C, whom will I leave in charge? Don't forget, I'm captain of the island. Ah, A and B are easy. A, we will go to the other side of the island, and B, we'll have a lovely picnic all to ourselves. Excellent. But what about C? Whom will I leave in charge? Who will wear my hat? Ahoy! Ahoy! When the captain speaks, ahoy! I'm the captain up on the bottom cup in charge of the crew, ahoy! Hmm, such a lovely day. Who will wear the hat? Who will wear the hat? I know. Why worry? Let's just leave it to fate. Fate? Who's that? I can't leave my hat to a stranger. No, no. Fate isn't a person. Fate is chance. Luck. Destiny. We'll see what happens. We'll make it a game. What are the rules? Only one rule. The first one to walk down those steps will wear your hat and be the boss. Do you think that's wise? No, but it's fun. Besides, Charlie Chalk usually comes by about this time of day. It'll probably be him or Trader Jones. Both very responsible sorts of people. Then you'll play? Yes. All right, then. The first one to walk down those steps will A, wear my hat, and B, be the boss. Oh, oh, hello. Have I been asleep long? Shh. Mustn't wake Edward. He needs his sleep, you know. Shall I visit Captain Mildred now? Or later? Later. See you. Shh. Oh, my. down those steps. Listen, here comes someone now. Is it Charlie or is it Trader? It's Edward and he's sound asleep. He's also the boss. Come on. But Mary, we can't leave Edward in charge. Look at him. All he can do is sleep. We'll see about that. Wakey, wakey. Oh, here, what the... What's going on? Where am I? On the good ship Buttercup. Captain Mildred and I are going away for the day, and we're leaving you in charge. Me? Me? Him? Mildred, you know the rules? All right, Edward. You're the boss. Huh? But I can't be. No one will do what I say. I can't order everyone round like you do. A, you can, and B, you will. Because A, you're wearing my hat, and B, I'm wearing yours. But remember, there's more to being the boss than ordering people around. There is? Let's go, Mary, before I change my mind. I hope you have a lovely time. I know we will. But I don't want to have a lovely time. I just want to go to sleep. What am I going to do? Hello, Edward. Oh, go away. Hi, hi, Captain. Hey, wait a minute. Did what I said. Charlie? Charlie, talk. Yes, Captain. Um, uh, come back here at the double. Aye, aye, Captain.
Captain. Amazing. Now, um, now make me a uh, cup of tea. Anything you say. Abracadee, here comes your tea. Charlie, that's three times. Three times? You've done exactly what I've said. Of course. You're the boss. You know something? I could get used to this. It, uh, ahoy, Buttercup! Ahoy, Captain M uh, 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 <coughs> Mr. Jones, I wait there and be take me for a tour of the island. Aye, aye, uh, 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 Captain. I'm the boss, I'm the king, I'm in charge, so I'll begin by telling everybody what to do. Ba 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 ba! I'm the ruler of the gang. No, you can't. Yes, you can. I'll decide, cos I'm the boss. That's what I am! Eleven. Eleven. Twelve. Twelve. Ah, ah, no. <laughs> Sorry, but I thought. I saw Edward wearing Captain Mildred's hat. I must be seeing him. If you did, that would mean he's the boss. Is you afraid so? Yes, I am the boss. And I want all of you to report to Buttercup with as many A coconuts, B bananas as you can carry. At the double. Aye, aye. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. I want a number one. Hey, what's what's up? Really delicious. <sighs> now, Lewis, I want you to fan me. To keep the pies away. What? Bert! Yes, Captain? Keep everyone away so that I can... Oh, fair enough. Aye, aye, Captain. OK, Lewis. A fan B now. He's asleep now. Very quietly. Oh, no. I don't care if Edward is the boss. He's being horrible to everybody. <sighs> Even to Lewis. Yes, but what are we going to do? He's got the hat, and he's the boss until Captain Mildred comes back. Well, I'm not fanning him anymore. Oh, don't blame you. He hasn't said please once. I never thought I'd say it, but I miss Captain Mildred. Hmm. Me too. We too. Me too. <laughs> oh, help! Help! I'll not you clumsy elephant! Help! Don't worry, Lewis. I'll help you. That better? Did you see that? Arnold! <laughs> Sorry. Arnold, you just gave me a great idea. I know what we can do about Edward. Listen to this. You know something, Mary? Just wearing Edward's hat makes me sleepy. I wonder how he's doing being the boss. I'm sure everything's just fine, dear. I bet they don't even miss us. You're probably right. Mm. What? 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 Where is everyone? Yes. Lewis? Yes, Captain? What are you doing down there? Come up here this instant. Well, sir, I'm afraid I can't. The gang plank is missing, see? Missing? Missing? But where could it be? 
for now. Where should I hide this thing? Oh, this is fun. Here? Oh. No, I don't think so. Uh, maybe if I took it home. Uh... Oh. Well, a gang tank can't just walk away. No, sir. No, sir. Go find it. At the double. No, sir. No, sir. No? Did you say no? But you can't say no. I'm the boss. Yes, and you're stuck on the buttercup. You can't get off. But, 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 you're right. I'm stuck on buttercup. Oh, what did I do to deserve this? You went too far. That's what you did, silly Billy. I guess I did get a little carried away. <sighs> oh, I was trapped in the way. Well, you're in luck. We had a simply lovely day. What about you? I'm sorry, Captain Mildred. I was a terrible boss. <laughs> you were right. There's more to wearing this hat than bossing everyone around. A, I know that. And B, now you do as well. And C, I'm stuck up here forever. Oh, no, you're not. Have you ever tried to hide a gang plank? Well, it's almost impossible, though I brought it back. I hope that's all right. It's absolutely perfect, but thank you. Now, Edward, my hat, please. Here it is, Captain Mildred. And here is yours. Phew, thank you. Now, just one more order from Captain Edward. Hey? What? Don't make too much noise. I have a lot of sleep to catch up on. Aye, aye, Captain. Charlie Chuck, Charlie Chuck. Got a funny way of walking and a wacky way of chalking. Charlie Chuck. Charlie Chuck. Oh, Charlie Chuck. Charlie Chuck. Landed on an island, now he's living in the jungle. Everybody comes around to see him clown and watch him tumble. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure there'll be knock ring letters through your door. <laughs> Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Postman Pat is collecting the post at Garner Bridge Post Office. What's this? A new poster? Garner Hall open to the public? Well, bless me. Mind you, it'll be a lovely show. It's a fine house. Oh, but Pat, said Mrs Goggins, just think of all the cars and coaches and the litter. Oh, and... Miss Hubbard did ask particular for you to drop in and have a word. 
I don't know what she wants. Mm, I expect it's something to do with this opening of Garner Hall. I'll not forget. Cheerio. Bye, Pat. Cheerio. All right, Jess. I'm coming. You never know. Miss Hubbard might have some cream for you today. But I hope she doesn't want a hand with her blooming bees. I remember last time. Pat was still wondering what Miss Hubbard could want. No bees about anyway. Come in, Pat. Where are you, Miss Hubbard? In here, Pat. Just come through. There were piles of paper everywhere. Oh, now where has the fellow got to? Goodness me, Miss Hubbard. Hey up, there's a draft. Whoops. Oh, I've made a right mess. Oh, for heaven's sake, man, shut that door. Don't worry, I'll pick these up. Whoops! Sorry! Oh, but don't make the place untidy, Pat. Just put that pile where you can. I wouldn't like to sort this lot out. I'm just getting ready for the grand opening of Garner Hall. The Major has asked me to show people round, and I must find out all about the old times in Greendale. Oh, yes, I saw the poster. Well, I don't know if much has happened in Greendale. No famous battles, no ghosts, nothing like that. Ah, don't be so sure, Pat. You never know what you'll find in some of these old papers. Tell you what, Pat, there's one thing I would like to see. Folks say Granny Dryden has a very old diary that her granddad kept, and he was head butler at Garner Hall a hundred years ago. Now, if you were to ask her, she might just lend it. It's worth a try. I'll ask her when I call with the letters. I feel sure she'll let you have it. Do please ask her. I'll take good care of it. I'll pop in when I finish my letters and let you know how I get on. Oops, I nearly forgot your post. Cheerio. Good man. Bye for now. Pat was on his way. His next stop was at Ted Glenn's. Hello, Ted. What's he doing? Making a right clatter. Ted! Hello, Pat. <laughs> you gave me quite a fright. I didn't hear you come in. Look at this. Just like new. All ready for the grand opening. I know, of Garner Hall. A knight in shining armor. What do you reckon, Pat? I've always fancied trying this stuff on. Well, now's your chance. I'll bring a tin opener next time I call, just in case you get stuck. <laughs> Here's some mail to go with it. Cheerio. Ta-da, Pat. Pat was on his way. His next stop was at Granny Dryden. Now then, what, what was it that Miss Hubbard wanted? Yeah. Hello, anybody at home? Oh, Pat, I'm glad to see you. I've just been sorting out some old stuff. There's this diary. Come and have a look. E, it takes me back seeing these old pages. Wilfred's very words. Just as he wrote them all that long time ago. 
I never saw anything like it. Do you think I could borrow it so that Miss Hubbard could make a few notes for when she shows folk around? Well, I can't make it out properly with me glasses, so you might as well take it. Uh, I'll take great care of it. I promise. Bye, Pat. Bye, Granny Dryden. Cheerio. It was time for Pat to be getting along to Garner Hall. Miss Hubbard would be waiting for him and the precious diary. Garner Hall at last. Major Forbes was at the door looking out for Pat. Come along, Pat. I see that you've got the diary. Miss Hubbard's waiting for you. Pat, good man, and the diary. Now, let me see. There must be something here. Where do I put this lot? Over there, Tad, near the chimney. Oops, makes a right clutter, this stuff does. Oh, how can I write the history of Garner Hall with this racket going on? Come and sit in the library, Miss Hubbard. You'll find it nice and peaceful in there. Oh, thank you, Major. So kind. Ted seemed to think the suit of armour was a new kind of jigsaw puzzle. Just about my size, I reckon. Mm, let's see. <laughs> I'd better leave you to it, Ted. Bye. Is that you, Pat? Um, I was on my way out. Just about to leave, Miss Hubbard. I want to show you something. Uh, something wrong. Pat, what am I going to do? Look at these diaries. Well, what's wrong with them, Miss Hubbard? Wrong? Wrong, Pat? There's not a thing in them that I can put in my story of Garner Hall. They're just... just boring, Pat. Look! Hmm. It was a nice day today. Went fishing, caught three trout, <laughs> went to bed early. Well, yes, I see what you mean. Nothing very historical about that. Historical? Oh, Pat, it makes me feel hysterical. Look, I haven't got a single note on my paper, not a thing. Meanwhile, Ted seemed to be having trouble with the armor. Help, but get me out of here, I'm stuck. Get your tin opener, I, I can't see where... Ah. God. You can't leave me like this. Ooh, boy. Mm. Ooh. Are you there, Pat? This armor's a bit stiff. Ooh. Boy. And see, there's some monster going straight through the flower beds in a suit of armor. Look, let's have a look. You're right, a suit of armor, <laughs> and I think I know who's in it. Hmm. Oh, oh, me back. Where am I? You can't leave me like this. Get me the fire brigade. What's this in front here? Ow. Oh, look at him. Did you say, Pat, did you say my suit of armor? Eh, what? Out here, in the flower beds? Parading about? Uh, yes, Major. It was... It should be in the hall. I know, Major, but l look at your flowers. All crushed and spoilt. 
Badgers, foxes, deer, no stopping the blighters. That's what it is. Sounds more like an elephant, Major. The whole herd of them, if you ask me, Pat. Miss Hubbard was waving like mad from the window. I think it's gone back inside. Come along, Major. Which way? This way! Follow me! Charge! Where is he? Dashed if the fellow's disappeared again. I'm sure I heard something in here. But the suit of armor! It's gone! What was that? Sounds as though you've got mice. <laughs> Big metal ones. It came from behind that door. If only I could see where I'm going. Hey, look at this. A door. And a secret passage. Hello, suit of armor. Hello, everybody. Glad to get this helmet off. Got stuck. Couldn't see a thing. It's so dark in here. But what's this? I found an old book in your secret cupboard, Major. Good fellow. Might be something Miss Hubbard could use. Something for me? Oh, what have you found? Old papers. What luck. Just what we need. Hmm, yes. <laughs> Good gracious. <laughs> Incredible. Just the stuff. And at the last minute, too. Very lucky. You never know what skeletons there might be in an old cupboard. Uh, uh, yes, well, um, time for tea, eh, what? Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Josh has been making a raft for Ravi. <laughs> Surprising what you can do with an old inner tube. What do you think? It's stunning, Josh. Thanks. Look, I've tied the plug on with a bit of cord. So you won't lose it, see? Yeah, yeah, great. Can I try it out now? Of course you can. Spanner's not very happy with Sharon's cooking today. There's something missing. The thing is, sure, fish and chips in the same without fish. I mean, it's just like, well, chips. I know that, Treasure. 
but I haven't had time to go to fish shop. What with me night classes in photography. Mm. I'm using special black and white film, all arty. I'll call that one plate of chips. You don't have to go to fish shop. You're looking at one of the most expert anglers in Grimm's Pool. Keep them warm. I'll go get me rod. I'll call this one plate of chips with sauce bottle. And me, fishing expert. Hey, Josh, it's dead steady. I could go miles in this. Don't forget your paddle. Oh, thanks, Josh. There you go. Oh, and Ravi, don't do anything daft. Don't worry, I won't. Got me own boat now, Fairport. Bon voyage and good luck to all who sail in her. Bye. <sighs> Still no sign of Spanner. How am I supposed to get Delilah loaded and off? Hey up. What's this? Dear Josh, I've gone up Sharon's to get me strength up. Spanner. Oh, God, he's scoffing again, Fairport. Hello, Spanner. What are you doing? Fishing. What's it look like? But you won't catch any fish there. It's too full of oil and stuff. What about sardines? Sardines? Yeah. You always get them in oil, don't you? Oh, Spanner. Hey, Fiona. Look at me. Wow. Where did you get that from? Josh made it. Brill, isn't it? Do you want to go? There's room for two. Mm, yes, please. Here you are. It's all right. I can manage. Oh, oh steady. Oh, don't <laughs> rock it. <clears throat> You all right? Of course I am. Where are we going? Uh, the place where evil pirates and sea dogs hang out. Where's that? Sharon's Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, Mr Bigot. I do hope you have a very happy birthday. <laughs> there, Mrs Carrier. What do you think? I'm sure Mr. Bigot will be very pleased. <sighs> hey, Hope, I've got a bite. Oh, it's a big and all. Hey, wait till she sees this. I shall deliver it personally, by hand. <laughs> so that's how you want to play it, eh? What the devil's going on out there? Stand aside, Mrs. Carrier. <sighs> Right. Well, don't think you can get away from me. I've got you hooked and you're staying hooked. Oh, 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 Spanner, oh. what's all the racket about? Oh, you're supposed oh. to be loading up. I've just caught a whale. Oh. Oh. Uh. At least I think I did. Just get on and do it. Yes, Mr. Cashmore. Oh just when they were starting to bite. Talk about a monster. It were enormous. <laughs> I'm not kidding, Shah. You should have seen it. It would have made a great photo opportunity. Oh, yeah? It were this big. <laughs> cool. Almost as big as his head. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I told you to... Uh, 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 I was just going, Mr Cashmore. Ooh. He was just telling us about this fish where he nearly caught. <sighs> what? Spanner? <laughs> he couldn't catch a cold. Daddy's honorary president of the Grimspool Angling Society. Are you really, Mr Cashmore? I most certainly am. <laughs> I'll give you a demonstration of real fishing technique. It's all in the casting, you see. Come along, come along. Pay attention, you two. Now, you should place your feet firmly apart. Hands flexible, 
but relaxed. Make the backward action so, then the forward whipping action so. Mr. Pickett's birthday! Oh, my lovely present! Oh. Rabbi, quick! The raft! Don't worry, Mr. Cashmore. We'll get it. Oh. Come on, come on. We haven't got all day. Get a move on. You hold it steady. Oh, come on. Oh. Out of my way. Oh. Rabbi, oh. No. Oh. You've forgotten the paddle! I'm coming! I'm coming! No, oh, please! Don't go! Daddy, careful! Oh, 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 oh! Stupid contraption! There's nothing to get hold of! Oh, oh, no! Oh! Oh, Mr. Bigot! Oh, I'm sorry! I just didn't mean it! Oh, it was, oh, it was, oh, it was an accident! Oh, oh I'm going to drown him! I suppose it could have been an enormous pilchard, or even a... Holy mackerel! Oh, screw! Look at that! Oh, help me, somebody, please! Don't just stand there, you dumb clucks! Fish me out! Hurry up! Oh, I'll give you my 22 karat gold fishing rod and the hooks! Oh, help! Oh, nothing else for it, I suppose. Hang on, Josh. Leave this one to me. <laughs> oh, 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 no! <gasps> Daddy! Daddy, you all right? Oh, Daddy! Hold it there, Mr Cashmore. Say cheese! Lovely fish, this, Josh. <laughs> you didn't catch that round here. Bloomy did. Caught a bus to Bates Fish Shop. <laughs> hey, everybody! Come and see me photos. This is the best one. I'm going to put it in for the night school exhibition. Oh, no. I shall call it <laughs> Spanner Wilkins <laughs> Makes Monster Catch. <laughs> some people live in the country, some people live in the city or town, some people live at the top of the tower, but some people live much nearer the ground. The Joshua Jones can live wherever he goes, down by the wallside, or any place the water flows. La, la, It's a hot summer's afternoon. Almost Mediterranean, you might say. Oh, beautiful, just like at home. Trattoria de Napoli, the best restaurant in Roma. Why is it called 
Trattoria di Napoli if it's in Rome, Bella? I don't know, but tonight is in a Ponte Pandi too, and this Bella will sing beautiful Italiano song. I like coffee from the coffee pot. I like coffee, sweet or not. Oh, coffee? It's more like toffee, Elvis boy. Oh, look, a postcard from Rimini from Dillis Price. Her and her Norman are there on holiday. Poor Rimini. Now listen to this. Dear all, arrived safe and sound, having a, a fabulous, fabulous time. time. Weather, gorgeous, food, golden blue. Norman, more Italian than the Italians. Ciao, Dillis. Ciao, Norman. Stop that sneezing and enjoy yourself. But, Mom, you told me the weather's nicer back home. However, Norman, my darling, we are not just here for the weather. We're here to be cultivated. See the old ruins. Try different foods. Not more spaghetti, Mom. <laughs> And the shop will be closed. We must have the gypsy earrings for the cabaret. <laughs> I will make it. And I'll be back from fetching Dillis and Norman from Cardiff Airport in plenty of time to play the squeeze box for your folk songs. Hurry, Trevori, please, or Bingles will close for the day. Meow. Rosa? Rosa, what are you doing in my shopping trolley? Oh, yes, just a tiny drop more. Thank you. This is the best service we've had all week. No wonder that holiday was half price, Norman. The hotel was only half built. Oh, it's like talking to a brick wall. Oh, oh, look, Norman. Norman, there's Trevor's bus on its way to meet us. Norman. What, Mum? Quick, it's Mr. Evans, look. a fish from the food hall, I know. Oh, oh, Rosa, come back. You naughty pussy, where do you go to? Bingles of Cardiff will close in five minutes. Kindly make your way to the exit. Here, pussy, pussy. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, ah, bueno. Rosa? Oh, Rosa! How do you find your way in here? We go in the lift. You cannot escape from the lift, Rosa. I'm so happy I found you. You stay with me now. Eh? Oh! Oh, mamma mia! We're stuck between the basement and the ground floor. Oh, Rosa, it's not just you can't escape. It's me as well. Oh, I telephone. Hello? Hello, help! It's an emergency! Services, how can I help you? Thank goodness, someone will come now. Woman trapped in lift at Bindle's department store. <laughs> All present and correct, sir. Right, let's go. Rosa, you will be okay. Right, man. Get to work. Where are you, madam? Ah, oh, what I tell you, Rosa?
Seja, leve calma tu Seamus. Help! Ok, we're here now. It's the fire service. Oh, is that you, Sam? That sounds like Bella. Yes, Bella. Don't worry. We'll get you out. <sighs> Fireman Cridlington, go to the top of the shaft, winch the lift up manually. Yes, sir. Sir, can you pass me that piece of old shelving? It'll keep these spring-loaded doors open. Of course, Fireman Sam. This should do the trick. Ah, excellent. Perfect fit. Commence winching, Fireman Cridlington. Right you are, sir. What's the problem, Elvis? It's, it's bad, Sam. The cables are jammed. Oh, dear. Uh, <clears throat> maybe we should use the short extension ladder, sir. Ah, uh, yes, good idea, Fireman Sam. Uh, short extension ladder. Fireman Cridlington, rejoin main rescue team. Right away, sir. Uh. Hello there, Bella. Now, this will be very easy. I'll pass the ladder down, then you just climb up. Sam, you must take Rosa first. She's frightened. All right. Come on, Rosa. What turn it. Rosa! She will fall. Oh, I will fall. Now, calm down, Bella. You'll both be fine. Oh, now what do we do? Just a minute. I got an idea. Let me help you out, Mrs. Uh, Lasagna. Oh, all sorted then. Come to Mama. This is the way to a cat's heart, eh, Bella? Meow. Grazie, grazie, son. Cari amici, I would now like to sing for you all a very special song. Oh, Bella Italia, I love you still. But Monty Pandy oh, gives me a thrill. Fish and chips, you know like my spaghetti Roma? Bella, your Italy's quite nice for a foreign country. But too much spaghetti makes you choke. Well, mind the bones in the fish. <coughs> Tonight, I am a free. Grazie, Sam.